Okay guys, I wanted to check out the uh, American Standard uh, Heritage 13 sear heat pump 2.5 ton R410A uh, unit I have out back here. And uh, basically my customer is running basically the same thing as I am at home, except for I've got one of the last R22s and she's running R410A. And her design subcooling is actually 9 degrees Fahrenheit design subcooling. Uh, basically guys, I just wanted to test it out. I maintain all this equipment and uh, basically what I wanted to do is see how, how it was running today. So after we fixed uh, downstairs and got everything up and running, um, I just wanted to sit with it for a bit and see what we got. And basically what I did guys was while we were downstairs, I actually got out my Testo 435 and I checked the airflow and I checked my CFM. We all need to be doing that guys. No matter what instrumentation you're actually utilizing, um, we all need to be checking airflow. If we're not doing that guys, we're not doing right by our customer. And uh, everything in air conditioning revolves around airflow. Okay, guys, um, I'm not preaching. I'm just, I'm just telling it like it is, guys. But uh, anyway, that's what's so fantastic about the I manifold. Um, while I was down there too, I actually tested with our PRH2. I got our wet bulb and our dry bulb for our supply. I got our wet bulb and our dry bulb for our return. So we've got airflow and wet bulb and dry bulb on uh, both the supply and returns. So what I actually did is we came out back here and I actually put it into the user inputs. And I put in 1007 for our CFM and it asked for nominal tonnage. I put in 2.5 and then I entered my wet bulbs and dry bulbs and all that good stuff. Once I had that done, I actually went into profiling the system. That's where I put in, it was an R410A system. It was a heat pump. It was a, a, a TXV. It was a standard evaporator, yada, yada, yada. The list goes on and on and on, guys. There's all kinds of information that you can actually add in here. And that's what I think is so amazing about it. But we were actually looking for nine degrees subcooling here. And uh, let's see what we got, guys. I'm actually, the TXV is opening and closing, but I'm actually hanging in right there at nine, guys and uh, I'm thinking we're looking fantastic. I was looking for 12 degree superheat as well and uh, I think we're looking got fantastic guys and you know it'll drop down a little and it might even it might even drop down to like 8.5 or 8.2 and then it might even rise up to like 11.2 so but anyway it's just doing its job. I think we're dead on and I actually uh, I actually did some trending here as well guys and you can see right here we're well within our lines here I think that's super awesome guys I'm hoping y'all can see that but uh, Anyway, guys, I just wanted to take you along for the ride, show you a little bit more about the I manifold. Um, uh, like I said, it's a fantastic instrument, and uh, guys, I can't wait to utilize it even more. It's just every day, it uh, you know they just keep adding feature after feature to it, and there's more to come. There's a lot of more updates. Keep an eye on your updates, guys, and uh, the probes will be here soon. All right, guys, thank you so very very much for watching, and I reckon we'll holler at y'all next time. Take care, hey, y'all. guys. Uh, Basically, I wanted to share this with you real quick as well. I've had a few people ask me, what do I do once before I unhook? Uh, basically, I've got my coupe rack and uh, temperature probes off. And with this sight glass, guys, what I actually do is I'll come down here to my, uh, my liquid line. I'll actually turn off my ball valve here. I've got that in the off position, as you can see. I'll open my, my liquid here. And keep an eye on the, uh, on the uh, sight glass here. What I'll do is I'll open up my... Uh, my suction line and hopefully it'll suck it all back into the unit or at least 95% of it. Alright guys, there you go. Now what I'll do is I'll turn my suction off and I'll unhook. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you all on the next one. Take care.